Hello and welcome to another episode of making Diablo clone in Common Lisp. So today I'm gonna be making some uh, refactoring, I think, because uh, the last time I've, I've stopped with the some kind of main menu, so this week I kinda a bit improved its visuals, but still nothing happens when you press on buttons, and so uh, actually to make something happen when uh, user presses buttons. I would have to make some refactoring, uh, especially when it comes to new game button, because uh, yeah, that's kind of that would be hard to do, I think. Um, and well, yeah, I think I will make uh, this beautiful menu working uh, by the end of that stream. Well, at least to some extent. Um, well, actually, there is some bug that I want to start with, and it's that when I hear there's the sound uh, which happens when you click on the button, and when I'm moving further from start, I mean my character further from start, it becomes quieter and quieter, and it really should not, it should have the same volume for all of the places so there's some sort of bug so yeah i'm creating each time the button is pressed i'm creating a new component with well sound uh, the sound component and the problem is i think somewhere in sound system so yeah i think i will start by fixing fixing this um okay so what happens i'm calling make component it in turns uh, called make prefab component here. So yeah, uh, with the sound I'm creating a sample from Libolegro. I'm adding it to the uh, mixer, to the default mixer of Libolegro. Then I set the play mode to once, obviously. Then yeah, I'm calculating all of those distance factor and pen factor for system if they uh, were not calculated yet. So that's just the sort of lazy loading. And yeah, it stops somewhere here. Yeah. So then I call this set sound position. And yeah, okay. Mm, so the problem might be here. Oh, actually I'm not creating a new entity. Yeah, right. I'm having just one entity for some weird reason, for menu. Yes, yeah, some sort of uh, empty component. Right, so each time a button pressed, I create uh, the component on that entity. And that uh, entity does not have the... Um, it does not have the sound uh, component. Oh, I mean the coordinate component. So then all of these functions at sound position, which I call here in make component, it just sh should uh, sh short circuit. It, it wouldn't do anything because it has this like condition. It has component coordinate. Uh, yeah, I think I will check that uh, manually here. So, um, I should get the number, the entity number for the uh, menu. So I'm going with menus, and then what is this macro parameters? I forgot. Yeah, I I will uh, sometime refactor also this uh, entity component system because I'm not happy with it uh, fully. I mean, so yeah. Okay, so with menus, I want to know the entity. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I see the little problem here. It's probably not the problem I'm trying to find, but that's still a problem. So, uh, this component, because it does not have any fields, it is actually considered uh, to be present on every entity. And that is not what I want. Um, okay, do I have any... Um, and I have any empty components somewhere. So, 
All right, let's see. Uh, sprite map mobs from batch menu. Here it is. Uh, and then format mana format sound debug player. Yeah, okay. So I also have the empty component for player. Mm. Okay, I think probably. Uh, yeah, and I guess if I will call macro with players, it will also demonstrate that I have this uh, player entity in every player component, in every entity. Um, yeah, sure I do. Okay, uh, I will fix that later. And for now, I'm just... Uh, right, I'm with the... I'm stuck with the problem of sound. Uh, of button sound. Okay, so I want to get the system of menu, right? And from that, I want a slot, uh, slot value, which uh, which one I want? Um, I want menu entity. Okay, menu entity, right? Zero. Okay, nice. So, and I want to check this manually. So, if it has component P, uh, system ref coordinate, come on, coordinate, uh, zero. Wait, what? Um, well, first of all, has component should return boolean? Yeah, sure. Systems. Uh, as component P, yeah, here we go. Uh, so yeah, it it is created for every system. I reckon in that macro, yeah, here. So um, that has component P uh, ref components entity accessors. What is happening here? So I'm at accessing systems components. And I'm, hmm, I'm calling them map car. Okay, uh, so this one is a macro dev component. So let's see to what it does macro expand. Uh, macro expand uh, like dev component, um, menu, menu. Because I reckon. That's what happening uh, here. Yeah, menu and menu. Okay, so let's see. Uh, has component P with with slots components system and oh, just empty. Hello, Michael. Um, okay, so empty. How are you, man? Um, So here I'm having just empty end, which is always true with slots components. Okay, what if I call um, with slots components on this menu system with slots um, components? Yeah, components. on the menu uh, system. No. All right. So why then? Well, the slots components of system just end. All right. So if I call again, this has component P system. Uh, how do you talk to a nuclear loop? Uh, wrote your own wrapper. Yeah, I did write my own uh, wrapper. I actually released it uh, in my GitLab. So uh, give me a second. I will just uh, send the link in chat. It it is kind of raw uh, at this moment, but uh, yeah, I think it's kind of usable already. Uh, so yeah, I'm using uh, that. So yeah, as you can see, it works just nicely and beautifully with all of the uh, image, uh, how you can call it, backgrounds and colors and fonts and stuff. So yeah. Um, but I have some weird uh, bug with the button sound. Yeah, no problem. So uh, for some reason, this uh, this returns 
double load zero. I mean, like what? Um, Suncon has component P on oh on coordinate system. Okay, so I should call actually macro expand not for that but for the uh, coordinate system. Uh, makes sense. Okay, so let's see which uh, that macro expands. Uh, come on. Um, yeah. So let's see. Um, has uh, I need has component P. Here we go. Nope. Um, okay, I will just search for that. Um, I'm using slime actually, just the you know the old-fashioned way. Um, so has component P. Let's come. So this one is for menu, and this one is some code. Apply the drop in replacement, and also make sure expand. Write in your source buffer. Hmm. Okay, thanks. I will check it out uh, a bit later. I had the impression that uh, slimy is like, I mean, sly is like the fork for just, you know, the uh, purposes of just doing the fork. But yeah, okay, I will uh, try and try it out. A lot of bug fixes and new features. Mm, yeah, all right. Uh, I wonder why those uh, bug fixes weren't merged into the uh, slimy initially. But yeah, okay. <coughs> um, so where is my has component method? Yeah, here we go. So it loads. But no, that's for menu system. I need for yeah. Here we go. And record x components a ref and y components entity. Oh, okay. So slots. So if I um, get the components. Of a uh, uh, coordinate system. Um, system. Um, and I will just see it. Okay, first of all, just at the components. Just have a look. What? Um, okay, let's continue. Um, with slots component system of coordinate oh maybe just coordinate yeah so oh I mean it looks like every entity has some component okay I should definitely refactor my ECS yeah but the thing is that right now literally every entity has some coordinate even if it is like zero zero okay so I think I should um, all right and how what oh so the default is zero so what if I I wonder how many things will break if I will just put here the no um, Let's just see. Um, right, so I will quick load the engine again. Come on. Okay, and I will just just try and launch it. Oh, so apparently nothing has broken, which is kind of weird. I would expect some things to break, honestly. Um, hmm. 
Okay, I will just quickly check it out on the game uh, itself. So I'm gonna comment for a moment uh, this new menu. <laughs> so I think I will just set the initial on to nil. And yeah. And I think I will just save the source and uh, let me just think how should I launch it. So I think I should just load that one and it will just work. Oh, okay, it wouldn't. Um, mm, should I just build it? Okay, I will just quickly build it. So I'm gonna remove my bin folder and just PCL load uh, build OS. <coughs> yeah, sure. SBCL always have these weird ideas about uh, def constants, which are not strictly uh, equal to one another. All right. Um, so let's go to bin and just see if nothing is broken. Come on. Come on. Work. Okay. It seems to kind of work. Let me just kill this spider end. Yeah, actually it works. So every system... Oh no, it's, it does not exactly work. So as you can see there is some bug with the uh, item. It is not destroyed for some reason. So okay, what will happen if I take the sword? Oh, the sword is kind of taken. Um, that's weird. What if I take this one and now this. All right, there is definitely a bug here with items. Something is off. Mm. Okay, let's just uh, quickly try and fix that. So apparently uh, the bug. Come on, item system. So the bug happens when I try and take something from the ground so when I yeah here in pick up item so if blah 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 player x PHP delete entity so I'm deleting the entity but for some reason it's it is not it's still there <laughs> okay I think I will just deal that later I will just yeah I'll just put the right up here. Um from that uh, everything is kind of fine I think um, right so um, so I think now the bug with the um, with the sound uh, of the button should be gone so I will just restart it or just in case um, we load the engine again hello um, so how are you mate? Okay, let's see. Oh, I see. That happens, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've commented the... Um, thanks mate. Um, let's make it back. 
out the sound of the button. Right, so now it is low and if I go further, yeah, I think it's the same volume. Let's go a bit further. Yeah, it's the same volume. Yeah, definitely the same volume for the different positions. Okay. Alright, so now I think I will make those buttons to actually do something. Um, I think the simplest one would be exit, for obvious reasons. So let's uh, start with that. So instead of putting this in the bug statements, um, what I want to do is I want to like emit uh, Allegro um, exit event, I think, because I'm handling this uh, like exclusively somewhere here. Yeah, this one display close. Um, hmm. Display close. I reckon I had some uh, exit handling in events or event loop no, in events I think Point character yeah this one quit um, so I have quit event yeah issue quit okay how does that work um. <laughs> Okay, so I get out from the game loop if I catch the uh, Allegro's display close event, that's obvious. And then after that I uh, emit manually my own quit event, which I process in every system in its own way. So, um, I don't want to issue that manually when I want to uh, exit the game, because uh, it will happen like so this uh, is pr processed uh, two times I don't want that mm. so maybe I should just somehow um, create the this quit event and put it on queue uh, in, in event queue okay it's google time so uh, what I want I want a Allegro display close event or something. And display not closing, yeah, sure. Um, other events. Um, let's see. Oops. Um, close. Yeah, here we go. The close button on the window has been pressed. Display which was closed. Okay, uh, do we have some sort of quit? And, uh, uh, let's see, Allegro quit the event or something. Event system events. Blah, 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 blah. Um, not respond to keyboard events. Um, another event. Okay, that one is just weird. Um, right. So, yeah, quit. But otherwise, it's usually a quit an application. Hmm. Alright. Um, okay, let's see. Close. Okay, so we obviously have this close event. Okay, so how do I uh, actually emit event into the Allegro uh, event queue? Oops. Now uh, Google with live Allegro. Uh, live Allegro. So, uh, and that uh, loop. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's the same page, I think. All right. Now I'm sure we shall register is pose on queue. Like you get next one, pick, drop, flash, 
Wait for Rampart Rampart 2, init user and source, destroy user and source. Yeah, uh, by the way, I also wanted to refactor the event system because, well, I think the Shinmeros uh, library uh, for events, uh, which is called this, is kind of cool, but it's uh, also kind of overkill for my uh, game, I think, because, well, it uh, did uh, features some stuff like multi threaded uh, event queues and all of that stuff kind of compiled filters and uh, runtime code generation and it's all kind of cool but yeah it's probably an overkill for me because I don't even want different threads because it poses all kinds of problems I just want the single thread so yeah I think I will also work on that sometime later okay so we have init user event but um, there is no uh, quit event, I mean the system event. Um. <coughs> okay, not the user event from user event source. Okay, and uh, source now is not initiated, blah blah blah, and some districts on the road. Events are copied in and out of event queues after a function returns, memory point on the previous events. Wait, what? So after the function returns, the memory pointed to by event, maybe free to read off, oh, okay. Uh, reference counter will be performed if this struct is not now, okay, I don't want that. Once reference counter drops to zero, uh, to emit both user and non user events from your user event source, not that emitting input events will not update it from the input device states. Uh, okay, so I believe I can emit uh, system allegory events from this, but I want uh, this uh, event source thing. Okay, let's see. So I will need to create it here. Uh, oh, okay, that would be a bit harder than I thought. So I will have to to register my own um, one source um, by using that function. But how do I remove the space for source? Must already have been allocated. Okay, the possible I've created one uh, custom one sources and derive the structures with the other source in the head. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is like the user event source. So I will put my own events into that. Yeah, that's handy thing. I think I will use it even for my own events which are not uh, system library events. But later, obviously. Um, uh, destroyed. Will never be destroyed automatically. Uh, I will destroy the source. Okay. So, um, so I need to allocate uh, the amount of memory for that thing. Okay. Let's see. Um, user. L init uh, user run source. L init user run source. Here we go. Um, so how do I here pointer obviously, but is it uh, is this structure library like run source defined in, in this wonderful library of CL with library? So let's see. Um, should be in, in types I think and. Events, yeah, obviously it should be here. So user something, yeah, if you struck user event, now that's the event, and there is no, oh yeah, the struct event source size by 128. Well, um, I guess I would believe that uh, its size is 128. Um, and source, yeah, okay. Um, Come on. So um, I will have to 
to have some sort of nope. um, some sort of wearable for that um, the source. Um, I will just allocate the organ member for that. So how is this function called again? Organ allocate something. Organ lock. Um, looks like it. Uh, initial element, initial equivalence, count, null terminate. Okay, so find that al um, al user event. No, not that. Um, user event source. So let's. Okay. Um, I reckon I had some binding for some files yet. Um, that's event source. Um, okay, I will just get the private symbol, but that's the problem. Probably I should have, I should make the uh, pull request to export that, but yeah, just later. So I don't know. I will just test it quickly in Ruffle. So let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should have used struct thingy. Yeah, this. So, uh, here we go. Struct. Um, yeah. So then I will initialize that. And, come on, and source. And somewhere later, just before uh, dealing with. Um, like um, register something something. Uh, sure thank you. Oh, okay. It's true display. So I should do it in reverse. So first of all, I create display, then event queue, then event source. So uh, after that, I first destroy the display, then event queue. Wait a second. Am I doing it right? So first of all, first display, then event queue. Then here I should uh, destroy first event queue and then display. I think. Um, and uh, even before that, I should destroy uh, by calling destroy user event source. That one. Uh, destroy user event source. Yeah, this one event. Source. And after that, I can see if I uh, organ free or something. Yeah, organ free. Uh, of that event source. Okay, I will just compile that and see. Just call uh, the demo and check if nothing has broken. Most importantly, the exit event. <coughs> okay. What now? Um, I think my Emacs got stuck again. Boy, that happens uh, quite a lot recently. Come on. Oh, now we're working. Okay, so the demo function returned zero, so I take it as it worked. Let's call it again. Just to see it still works after the finalization sequence. Alright, it looks like it's working. Um, just one more time. I will pass that event source into my game loop, I think. Uh, where's my game loop? There we go. Uh, we'll display event queue, event source. And source. Um, and source. So here, okay, now I 
have an answer. But what will I do with that? I should somehow um, have the ability to be yeah, to pass something here into that. And well, I don't have it here. Mm. Okay, so is is it some sort of uh, singleton? So it's kind of one per application. Yeah, sure. That problem happens a lot with Allegro documentation, but hopefully, yeah, I can fix it just like that. So uh, in user and source now even source init src. What does it do? Users from this set mutex init init data. Zero. So it just initializes this thing and it is not the singleton. Okay. Source. Okay. And source. So let's just see the protocol of my systems. So they have a bunch of methods and systems. Okay, let's just see the dev component because it defines a bunch of those. Oh yeah, there's also prefabs and yeah, dev component. So there is already an in, in initialized instance. Um, As component, we make component. Okay, so um, I think maybe I should maybe pass that to uh, system update, but I just can't see my um, generics. Oh, here we go. So I have system one load, but I don't have system one. Wait a second. System um, load. Oh, I'm just not using it anywhere. Alright. Maybe I will also refactor that. So uh, I have some sort of system initialization code for some systems. Maybe I should have like a separate system load method and then system unload method like here. Just like here. Mm, system update. Event source. I'm thinking maybe I can make it some generic on the system so that this event source thing can be passed somehow to that. Uh, method, but it does not make much sense. Uh, <laughs> so the thing is that this um, event source should be available to any system uh, without any extra steps. So maybe I should have some extra slot for that, like you just call it event source and then you get it from there. Hmm. Well, uh, there was similar situation for system draw and I've added this GUI parameter which is actually nuclear context for uh, which is created uh, level higher uh, and then it is passed to every system so in, it can use this uh, context to draw uh, some GUI. Um, does it make sense 
Um, just an update. Maybe some sort of new um, method, something like system event. Um, system event. <laughs> yeah, I already thought that maybe I will just refactor the events uh, and we'll just have uh, just simple generic for processing these events uh, and I will just dispatch on, on the type for those and using this uh, user event uh, me mechanics would be easy I believe but um, would it make sense to pass this event source to that when I actually need this event source right here in system draw Okay, uh, that's hard. <laughs> Event source. <laughs> Maybe I can even just initialize it right here, but that just not that does not feel right. Um, So let's see. Mm. Source. So maybe the best idea here would uh, would be just to have this extra slot which is filled automatically. Um, blah, blah, blah. So um, let's see. I reckon I have several initialized instance. Yeah, matter of fact, here we go. Initialize instance after first uh, one. Uh, here it just sets components, right? Um, okay, so for now I think I will just make it. Um, some kind of global variable. Um, I'll just define it special somewhere here. So I will uh, not need it here. Uh, but yeah, it, al it also feels kind of bad, but I will postpone that to the time well, when I will get to the events refactoring. So let's see, uh, game loop. I will remove it from the game loop and then rename it to, well, uh, just add the earmuffs. So event source. Um, oh, that's not good. Just space event source. Okay, to space earmuffs event source. So, okay, probably. Um, right? Um, right. Oh, it hasn't changed in the left here. And I will just define that as the variable. Uh, somewhere here. Again, not very uh, good from the architecture standpoint, but I will change it later along with the event system. Um, okay, so now it is available here. Um, I'll just restart it again, just in case. Um, And just test if it still works. Okay, again, weird ideas of SBCL constants. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oops, oh, I have to mark here. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Wait. Yeah, it kind of works. Uh, and again, just one time to see if the uh, shutdown sequence works properly. Yeah, looks like it works. Alright, so now I have this event source and what I can do is, I think, I can um, emit user event. Okay, emit user event. So I can el emit user event. So my source is an event source, user maps. Yeah, here we go. Then event and destructor. So the destructor will obviously be null. Uh, no pointer. And the event, uh, the hardest part. So I want to emit, um, let's see, I want to emit display close. So, uh, no rest. So, so display should be closed. Can we get the some sort of uh, default display? Default display something. This current display, I reckon. Display so function current display. Nope. Um, oh, is it also just the variable I should pass somehow? So this way, this way, this way, this way. Let's destroy this way. Uh, oh, I'm passing it here as the. Um, hmm, as a variable. Hmm. Is it. I think there was some ability to get to the whole display. Okay, so get near set operations, settings, then holds, um, get new table. Okay, uh, so it's also not a singleton as I believed. Let's see, I just add the source. Okay, AL for display. So, um, system display. Okay, so here we have this local variable. The system driver gives display driver for to create display and display driver. Create display, display image, extra settings, and return display. So, display. Oh, that's great. Um, settings, flags, uh, state some initial values. Um, hmm. Okay, I will just pass a null pointer, I think, as a current display in that event uh, here in this event. Yeah, okay. Let's just create um, this event. So, uh, I think I should use from c some source of with for organ objects. Object. Yeah. The variable event and type, yeah, the type. Um, here in this. Um, some sort of close. Hmm. Okay, and that's weird. Um, I got event display close. Alright, I will just go to uh, just clone Allegro 5 sources uh, as I always do and just my and I will just search for that 
right in, in the sources tree. Okay, so let's move this. I mean, grab. Grab for this event. So, can this play here? Oh, I reckon event is the union. So, okay. So, I reckon I just need. Hmm, what do I need here? Forty-two. Yeah, that's that's funny. Um, so one type equals. That's the X11 backend, I believe. Yeah, we close the button. Here we go. Uh, so we just create a Lego event struct, or whatever it is, is it the union? And then we go to display type, so timestamp. And here, uh, I mean, this is Allegro sources, and here they don't even fill that field, which is. Uh, the source, the display, which was closed. They don't even do that. Which means I also should not, I think. No, no, sorry, not. No. Oh, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. So, ES, what is ES? Um, oh, yeah, event source. Event source, and, uh, okay. Um, let's just delete that. So the timestamp. Uh, so I believe I should just put this uh, type and timestamp. Okay, so any event type source timestamp source type. Okay, I think I will be happy with that. Any event. So the type would be struct, uh, struct al um, any event yeah here we go al any event uh, so with this organ object um, i also need to set some fields for that and i reckon it was some uh, nice interface for that in cffi uh, come on. With organ slots. Yeah, with foreground slots is the extra call. I reckon there was the ability to set it like in one go. Um, let's see. Um, um, so this is like struct. The this track for slot. Yeah, it was something like with organ object, but like with initialization. And nope. hmm. Am I tripping? I reckon it was some some nice API here. And it's not counter. Oh yeah, translate from foreign. Right. Um. Okay, so when I was working at my uh, nuclear wrapper for using with uh, Allegro, I reckon it was some way to. Yeah, I was just uh, piggybacking. Is that the word uh, on the mechanics uh, of this translation? So I was just passing, I mean, just like here, I'm just passing this weird uh, Lisp list well, with these symbols and numbers, and it is converted on the fly to nuclear object to the actual um, NK color struct, and it is passed uh, by value. 
because, well, creators of nuclear just love passenger trucks by value. It's kind of pain in the ass with common list. So, um, can I do something like that here? Um, so, well, first of all, I need a pointer. So, I will have to translate it. Yeah, maybe just call translate from Oregon. Uh, who will that do? For the wrong type name. Okay. Oregon. Oh no, uh, I need the reverse. Uh, not from Oregon, but to Oregon. Right. Let's go here and type in. Uh, exactly. So let's see. Uh, translate to Oregon. Yeah, C5, of course. Uh, translate to Oregon. Um, so I want like um, AL. What was those fields? Um, yeah, this one. Type source and timestamp. So let's see. Type uh, 42. Uh, AL source like. Okay, I will have need backtick here. L source of null pointer here so final pointer and then timestamp of I don't know zero and, uh, here. so will that work oh yeah and um, I also need to specify type so the type would be struct uh, al any event here we go oh it works or does it? So if I translate Foreign. I mean I need a pointer. This looks just like a list uh, with all of this stuff I just put in um, No, I believe it's not what I want here. Yeah, that's exactly. It just returns this value as is. That's weird. Um, what if I pass here something like this? Alright. Uh, so this should be a symbol then. And again, that's the same list. Um, Okay, I will just give up and set those manually, but still, th this will look like crap. So, with foreign slots, um, yeah, recently we just had conversation with the creator of CL uh, Web Allegro, who co goes by the name of Rust Time. Um, and yeah, we decided that uh, actually that would be a good idea to have some nice, uh, well, uh, you might call them um, accessors to the uh, Allegro structure uh, fields. Like, I want to just call uh, something like event type instead of typing all of these with foreign slots crap. Um, but yeah, that that's just plant right now. Okay, so uh, what I want here was pointer type. So pointer type. Okay, so uh, as a vars I need um, I reckon I used it somewhere already. Slots. Um, slots. Yeah, just like that. And, uh, um, um, type a L source and A L times right. So um, my pointer is this event and my type is obviously this struct L, L A event. Alright, so maybe I should somehow make it nicer. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so I want to set f those. Hey, mate. Uh, any points in using something like fast generic functions? 
after I finish the big parts of the game. Yeah, I, uh, as a matter of fact, I have um, in my to-do list some references, some links to those libraries. I have link to that fast generic functions, and I reckon it was also uh, some competitor to that library, which also makes generic calls uh, faster. So yeah, uh, right now I have decent performance, but uh, at, at some point in the future I will definitely look into that. Yeah, maybe at some quite far point in future, but still. Okay, so uh, I want to set up a L type to what to L A L. How do I? Um, should it be keyword? Okay, how do I? Oh yeah, this should be a keyword. Display close. Display close. I wonder if that will work. Okay, so type display close, then uh, source null pointer, uh, and uh, timestamp. Okay, it should be two columns. Um, timestamp, come on, timestamp of uh, how what is, what was it? AL get time, okay. Uh, AL get time. Okay, so I'm done with the event, so now I can emit it, I think, just like that. Alright, so here we go, and um, yeah, here we go. So let's see if that compiles, yeah, it does not compile. Uh, no one see if I type root. Um, I beg my pardon. Uh, for slot set, for slot in set f, you mean? I like that. Um, see if I get quote. So I have extra quote somewhere. Um, let's see uh, if I use that with for foreign. God damn it. Object and so yeah, I should have the quote here so for the slots. Um, struct. Oh, oh, okay. I don't need quote here. Okay, that's just inconsistent API to me. Uh, because, yeah, well, see if I can be the pain in the ass. So, okay, now it compiles. So let's see what happens if I actually do that. Um, I just think it will just fall, just... But yeah, let's see. I'm always assuming the worst. So this button still does not work, and this one... Yeah, just nothing happens. Nice, just nice. Um, so okay, I will just try and print that even here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it is kind of oh, and it is the same address every time. That's suspicious. But okay. Okay, maybe I will just print those values here. Close as the type 
SAP zero pointer for source and some value for timestamp. So looks like it is working. <coughs> Maybe I will just try and print every event I'm getting. Mm, yeah, so I will do that. And yeah, exactly here. So I will just print this uh, event. Maybe just event type. Right. So yeah, it will print a lot of data. What? Oh, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, sorry. How do I print it? No. Uh, use value. Like. Okay, it works. Nice. Uh, I have these events. Okay, and if I just press exit. Huh. So it's not actually emitted. Okay. Uh, why? So I call init user event. Uh, what the heck? Will it work? Hmm. Init user event. Okay, let's just see at the documentation in that. Yeah, and uh, meet user event. So, meet uh, event from a uh, source in the source not in initialized. What does it actually do? No. Initialize in the source and in user event. The space where the source not in the allocated. Some place far away, blah blah blah. And then, blah 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 blah. Or, there is nothing not distributed automatically. Yeah, sure. I think I forgot to do that, but that is not a problem here. So, uh, it was false if the user... Okay, what does that return? So, here, boolean. Okay, well, let's just see um, that. Okay, let's see. So we returned nil, which is false. Why it is returning false? Because false if the event source isn't registered with any queues, hence the wouldn't have been delivered. Okay, so how do I register that crap? Um, register event. Okay, register event source. Right? Right, so I should have registered it for it to work. Okay, so I will remove these debug prints, I think. Uh, yeah. And here, uh, also this. And register. So after creating and initializing, I should register it. Yeah, well, obvious. Uh, how dumb can I be? So, um, no, yeah. Uh, what? Q source. Alright, so Q and event source. Nice. So now it should definitely work. <coughs> works nice so let's see why it is so slow though I think maybe it's because it's trying well the clicks uh, the mouse clicks are still transferred to the engine itself and it tries to find the path via my uh, hideous a star algorithm I mean my hideous implementation yeah it works nice so I got the exit working that's a start. Um, so I don't need this format. And another, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. 
So maybe I should even put that into the separate function. Um, yeah, I will think about that later. All right, so the credits are kind of hard. I will work on those later. So now I will. Yeah, now sound is working properly. So now I will I will try and make the new game button. Uh, and for that, yeah, I actually should make some uh, major refactor in here. So um, when I'm creating a new game, I'm just passing that. Um, structure which is like the initialization spec it is well just the uh, entities and components uh, for those entities to create and the thing is I'm using for that to work and to initialize all of those components I'm using runtime code generation because I'm taking this uh, specification this list and just translate it to the well list of uh, lambdas, I mean like the compiled functions, so those are compiled in runtime, which also just says how awesome common lisp is, but I think just in this case it's again a bit overkill. So I uh, wanted to make it simpler, I wanted to make it just uh, just a list, so in systems here uh, yeah, this one, entity initializer. So I don't want entity initializer, I want just initialize those by some spec. So I'm using this actually in different places, I think. Make entity initializer. Okay, let's see. So in systems, that's obviously the definition. Uh, in item system, uh, I'm using it to create the gulp sound when the character picks up the uh, health potion. And yeah, in package I just export that. And yeah, so yeah, just two places. I'm using it just in two places. So okay. Yeah, and maybe first of all, I want to. Uh, change that as it was. Maybe I don't want to. Yeah, I did some changes here, obviously. Um, yeah. So, do I want to change the back? Actually, I think my specification itself, this list. Uh, oops, nope. Uh, this list would uh, it would stay the same so I don't actually want to restore those from git I mean check out um, yeah I guess I'm fine with those uh, changes or am I though I will remove this again the initializer it will be just the spec there um, and we we'll change the identification okay I will just restore that as it was uh, oh yeah and thing is I'm creating a menu here manually yeah and that is what I will be changing and refactoring here okay so let's see Okay, I will just restore all those. Yeah. Here we go. Um, yeah. So now, uh, in start engine, I will just take not the initializers, but the like. Hmm. So what it actually is, it's kind of a new game spec. So later I think I will put 
uh, most of those uh, inside the map file so that you wouldn't have this like large um, initial um, list of game objects to create like I have in the actual game. I mean this is just terrible, this list. So I will put most of those into the map file, but still I would have to have the ability to specify which entities I want to create when creating a new game. I mean like the initial map or initial even uh, like dungeon. Well, later I will add some sort of dungeon function which will use these map chunks as well map chunks. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll close that uh, and yeah, so I will have this uh, new game. So what it actually is, it is like the list of objects, the specifications, the list of specifications of objects uh, to be created um, on new game. Okay, I think it's uh, quick carbohydrates time. just to get some extra brain power. Alright, so uh, what this list would be? Uh, it would be the list of um, specifications of new game objects. So first of all I think I will re rename it to like what? Um, Oh, and by the, by the way, I would have to somehow pass that to the um, to the menu system, so that they will be created by the when the new game is pressed. Man, that's hard. Um, okay, I will just go with the flow. So uh, instead of initializers, that would be uh, the new game objects. No, new game entities. New game. No, well, actually, those are game objects. You can call them that, or like new entities. Um, yeah, let's just call them new game objects. New game object specs. So this is a list of these specifications. Uh, so I will also change the documentation. So initializes and starts engine from the game with the name. Uh, initialization stuff. Uh, blah blah blah. The whole new parameters. So that's just not what it would be. So new game object specs. Yeah. Uh, and specs is a list of object specifications uh, uh, of game object, object specifications to be created on new game on when new game be created when the new game starts. Now it's just not uh, just called before the game loop, it will be uh, the manual action. So user will have to press new game to start a new game. <coughs> okay. Um, so, oh, yeah, I pass it through the dynamic variable because of the uh, Mac OS initialization thingy. Okay, so I will have to rename that, I think. Specs instead of initializers. Let's see. Initializers. 
The list. Okay. And just your spec. Um, and instead of phone call, oh yeah, I mean those just. I will even not have this bit of code. Right, uh, menu system. Yeah, what I want to create here is just to create the menu entity itself. So like main. Component. Eh, I will just use the this same mechanism here. So just uh, create a new entity. Okay. So um, so now I would refactor this um, initializer function. Um, so first of all, I don't want that package. Yeah, here, here. And instead, I want to call it somehow differently. Something like make object. Yeah, it kind of kind of makes sense, I guess. <coughs> My name so bad with naming things. Um, yeah, so make object, make game object. Yeah, well, I think it's obvious that this is a game object, so like make object. Make object. Okay. Looks okay. So this creates creates another creates a new game object following specifications back false. So I'm just copy that. Right, the systems are created function on demand. Yeah, that's um, that's the trick. So before I was creating those systems lazily, uh, just in this function. And right now I don't think I want that because well, if I don't have any mobs, then my map system is not initialized, and that's not the logic I want. <clears throat> Which means I will have to manually create all of the needed systems and it also feels like a subject to refactoring, but I will do get back to that later. But anyway, I will have to mm, create all those here. I'll just leave to do here. Uh, create required all required systems. Um, so here, make object. Um, so instead of this uh, macro ish thing, I just want. Uh, what do I want? So I think I will need that loop here. Um, Okay, we'll just create this. Hmm. So, for instance, game object. Yeah, right. So, for component in spec, I want to. Yeah, I want to have this system. And I want the parameters. But I will do what I will do. Oops. I will. Do just like here, yeah. System draw symbol uh, white blood. Draw symbol. Um, I guess I can just get 
why I was using the symbols here. Thank you, since this is coming. Okay. Mm, yeah, I guess I can just have a system ref of that here. Right. <coughs> so, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm making a component. Component with this system uh, with the entity. Okay, so now the entity right. So I need to create the entity first. Entity equals make entity. Uh, system entity and promise. How do I? So I have run this color component. So I should use a fun call here or I reckon apply. Is it fun call or apply? I always mix those up. I guess apply. Let's see. Um, blah, 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 apply. Yeah. I believe I have to use apply. Yeah, right. So I want to apply my component to the system entity and I mean you, you can pass several yeah rest arms. Nice. Um system entity and parameters. I mean how does it actually I will just quickly check if that will work. So there's no like list, I point to the three and then the full list of something. <coughs> oh. Hmm. Was, yeah, I think that's just exactly uh, what I need here. Because these parameters is just um the uh the P list. Uh, I believe all those parameters. Yeah, I believe it is. Um, okay, uh, is my no, my box is still working. So I'm doing this, and I think I should return the entity here. So that will apply the component, and finally, uh, finally return. Okay, so it is kind of simpler. Um, okay. Um, I think the component clones um, make components. So um, yeah, okay. So now I have this, I will just export that here. Uh, make object. <coughs> and I will just test it out on items. So I'm using that on item system. Yeah, here. So the constant. Oh, I see. Okay, so where I'm using that. Here. So instead of fun calling this special, oh, I've used the clever trick here. I've declared those variables special, and so that that's how they got into this lambda, which was created by make entity initializer. But yeah, right now I think I would won't be needing that trickery because I will just simply call make object. On uh, object with, uh, with the list of yeah it will be just back tick list of coordinate and I will just pass x and y uh, here so x this and y this and sound uh, 
Prefab Gulp. Yeah, that's uh, a much simpler, so I don't need those to be special. Right, square X, Y, square. I don't even need this let, as a matter of fact. So, um, I'm afraid I will lose the track of my parentheses here. So, this ends when this ends uh, here. Yeah, with HP. Okay, so, object coordinate, go. Uh, I don't need this one because I can just pass here player X and player Y. Here we go. So I don't need to fun call anything. Uh, yeah. Looks like it. <clears throat> So yeah, that's better. I don't need this gulp initializer here. No. And yeah. <clears throat> right. Okay. So uh, I'm done with the item system. And now uh, in There's the bit of one kit. Yeah, here. So, uh, but this becomes a bit larger. So I need to create all the systems, then the entity, and then I would need to somehow pass that um, that new game, whatever. How have I called that? Game object specs, yeah, this one. So I will have to pass that um, somehow to the this one. Um, I will have to pass that to menu system. How would I do that? Mm. Game credits, yeah, whatever. Uh, new game <coughs> here. So what I want to do here? Uh, well, actually, first I will have to remove all of the existing uh, objects, game objects, and just then to create a new. Because a user can press new game right uh, in the middle of something, and I will uh, have to will make a clean slate. For him, <clears throat> is that the word? Click clean slate, clean slate. Well, anyway, double rasta. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, and for that, I need to remove all of the existing uh, components and entities. And just after that, call this make uh, object several times with all of those specs. <laughs> okay, I think I will just make the function here and call it new game. And it will just use this um, dynamic variable new game object specs. And yeah, this way I think it will work. Yeah, right. So new game object specs. Um, Run engine. So here we go. Run source. Run. Oops. Got the parentheses. So uh, the function new game with probably no arguments. So uh, yeah, the second part, the easiest part, is to make object spec but just with the old objects so like list again uh, all this uh, and uh, spec from this new game object specs um am I using the list right uh, the list? Uh, yeah so 
like object put spec. Here we go. That was the easier part of creating uh, those. Now I should remove all the existing objects. <coughs> hmm. Okay, I will do it a bit later. Yeah. Okay, so here I would have to lastly create a menu entity. Player I mean, am I creating a player manually? Yeah, I'm creating a player manually. That's just retarded. Uh, then how dumb can I be? Okay, so... Mm, so some objects are special, like player or menu, and some, like, are not, because they are just the part of, say, the map or dungeon or whatever. So some of the objects are just loaded from files and created from files, like those mobs from dungeons. And some objects I should initialize like here manually, I think, like player or menu. Mm, probably. Um, menu entity required systems. Okay, so I don't need uh, this anymore, I believe. Mm. Oh yeah, and I think I will want to put something in lock here. This too. Mm. So I'm not initializing it. This I am creating Starting, starting a new game. Yeah. Starting new game. Here we go. And okay. So systems and then main entity. So like main entity. Yeah. Okay. Make. Entity mm. I'm not liking all this that much. Oh by the way I can also use here yeah this creating object from spec so I can make object. Oh that's really a nice thing. Um, so I want a menu and then yeah, just the menu. So this function will what will it do for me is it will create a new entity and then create add a proper component to that, like this menu component. So it's kind of better than doing this myself. I reckon I was using this pattern throughout the code, so I will probably use it also in the code again okay, later. So. Um, I've created the menu and required systems. Okay, so I will just go through that and um, okay, I'll just put it here. So I need camera system, then I need coordinate, then player, uh, then sprite, character. Um, HP and mana, then combat, then map, coordinate, sprite, character, HP, mana, combat, map, and then map. Okay, so I need all of those. Um, I mean, this is not looking very good, but uh, right now I don't have the idea how to make this better. I guess I will have to have some mechanism for creating and registering uh, new systems. But I don't know. I reckon I've seen some 
um, libraries to create some sort of uh, first class citizens. Uh, I reckon it was uh, Shinmero's library, or maybe not. So it was just um, helping you to make all these macroses to make uh, new objects. Like you have defun for function and you have def macro for macro, and then you can create your own like entity and have uh, some macro for that. I don't know, I'll see. Um, so, okay, uh, here I want to make instance. Um, yeah, probably I will just copy that. So, uh, how long is this? And 10. So, oops, nope. Okay, so. I need camera and power limit. I need character. And then HP and mana. Then combat. Then mod. And map. Oh, one extra. Okay. Um, menu I've created, so I can run the file systems. Alright. So, menu. Yeah, and now I should call uh, in here. Come on. So, I'll compile that. It compiled. Uh, that's weird. From the first time. A new game. Uh, yeah, right. I'll do that. Okay. Um, then that. And yeah, I should compile that. Uh, definitely. Oops. What have I done? Okay. Um, come on. How do I? How am I doing this? Okay. Um, I compile that and. Uh, here goes nothing. Yeah, here goes nothing. How do I mean? There's no class. Okay, okay. I forgot the word system there. Um, can you please close? Okay, I will just restart my list. Um, okay, so I need uh, obviously a suffix system here. I will record macro for that. Uh, here and stop. Okay, uh, here we go. Um, I guess that's it. Still using make and finish let yeah right I haven't changed that so what I want here I will just pass this spec as this just like that um, extra parent yeah here we go so feels like that's it. Um, here goes nothing. So it is loading the resource files, I guess. So, so that's a good sign. But why it is loading the resource files if I haven't pressed... Oh yeah, because the preloading. I preload all this stuff. Uh, yep, okay, so something is wrong. Value minus one is not that integer from zero. Yeah, it's hard to argue. Let's see. Um, no locals here, yeah, obviously. System break of system minus one. Where is the minus one? There's no even minus one here. How is 
Okay, so we are in game loop. Oh, okay, so right now, I believe uh, there should be no maps. Uh, okay, so let's look at the map system. <coughs> um, uh, oh, I see, now I see. The problem is that here I'm trying to get a player entity when right now I don't have a player at all. So yeah, what's the problem here? System update. Um, so I guess when I'm calling this macro, this happens because it's, it's trying to get minus one element from the entity array. So probably... Uh, okay, what does it eat? I reckon player entity just returns uh, here minus one. Okay, entity. So it sets here. Was that character on the Okay, uh, entity. Okay, so I think what I want to do here. Is just change default from minus one to nil. First of all, and then I will use if let here. Ain't that clever? So this will not. The whole method will not work if the player is nil. Um, no, I mean one left. Yeah, one left. So is it like the what works? Um, what? Oh. Uh, bindings by bonus variable in actual form. Um, if there is a single binding in the form. Yeah, okay. Variable in the form. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, what? What? So, here we go. Um, yeah, sure. Will it suck fault again if I start again? I guess not. <coughs> um, oh, I guess the same story goes for um, map system. Well, let's see. Map system is Prometheus Flux Cameras. Yes, and one. Oh yeah, okay. With camera. All right. It uses with camera. Uh, actually, it uses here. We have this clever trick of mine, which does not re-render re the full map if the position of the character is the same. Because if the character hasn't moved, we uh, do not want to uh, put all those tiles again. And draw, draw all of them again. We just can use the sprite batch from the previous frame. Uh, and here to do that, I'm using camera position. Yeah, obviously. So, with camera, okay. Hmm. Maybe I should change this with camera uh, macro. Yeah, it will make sense. So just like with the player, so instead of you know, here player system, uh, no, uh, the camera system, so here we have entity, yeah, and initial form is even nil. So I can just put one left here, and then just remove extra emphasis. Here we go. Um, okay, that's a macro, so I should probably first start at least. Um, super cloud engine again. <coughs> and try it out. I mean, that's already a lot of uh, changes. Probably I should commit some of those.
Okay, the new thing again in the player system. Okay, so in system draw. Slots with HP entity. Okay. With slots entity. Alright. So I think here. Oh, and where does this stop? Alright. So. Entity. Yeah, here it would be enough to just have one entity, <coughs> but I will have to put extra top, extra space here. Yeah, um, I will just recompile that. Oh, yeah, extra parenthesis. Here we go. Yeah, right. Also, that's also a bug that when some condition happens after that, there is a forgotten memory fault. I think I will also investigate that, but again later. Again, so what now? System draw. Uh, system. I mean, I've just. Oh, I haven't compiled that. Okay, just in case, I will restart my Lisp again. System draw. I mean, I'm using here one entity, so it should just be called one. Oh, give me a second. The system can click options, then with slots. I mean, like what? System in game loop. Okay, let's just do debug prints. Oops, print um, entity here. And then just in case for salt. Um, okay, so again. is nil so what the heck oh maybe this uh, this one just goes okay I have this extra extra stuff here crap and go mouse position and mouse position does what Special values one. Oh yeah, okay. Mouse alignment, mouse state. Yeah, it does not do anything uh, criminal. So the problem is somewhere here. System minus two as target. Um, minus one press one that target character on the cursor. Oops. Uh, with maps, yeah. um, well, that's just weird. I'm 
Yeah, probably this drawing code is also a subject to the factoring. By the way, maybe I should draw this um, orbs of health and mana in the uh, respective systems, in like HP and mana system. Or, well, those are for all of the uh, characters, not just for Claire character, but anyway, yeah, probably, I will just leave a comment here. So, what was I? Um, that uh, went close. Mm. By the way, can I uh, maybe just leave the commonless function right away, like with the return without labels or blocks uh, or tag body? Um, let's see. Um, function. Functions. Non local elements. Um, okay. Functions, arguments. Um, let's see. Oops. And. Um, Morris. 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 Well, so tall, higher functions, more than one functions. Um, hmm. What about non local stuff? There are always ways for non local exits, return from function in well, but I usually not need it. Return from. How does that work? Return from. Mm, we just control and not all from works if we enclose a block. Block form doesn't form named name, or if we enclose a return form, and we always have a return from the innermost such that we enclose a block. Transfer control and shift names from the strength. Hmm. But, but what if I don't have a block? <coughs> By the way, return, I guess it also, it just works for loops, or does it, oh, it also works for blocks, okay, uh, this is block, blah, 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 okay, so what will happen if I just put return here, like, was entity, Return. Will that do? Okay, return from one block, nil. No. Just as I thought. So uh, this means I should have a block here instead of one. Okay, well, let's just try out um, block. No block. Okay. Block name form name form forms and transfer result. Okay. 
Oh, how do I do that? Alright, so it goes here, this goes here. Then, unless entity will return from that block, then here we go further. Okay. Alright, so that compiles. Let's see if that works. Wow, it works. Nice. Uh, I mean, like, cool. I don't need to change this, this stuff anywhere else. Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, this passed to the... Um, okay, so I should also not process or trying to process stuff when something is clicked. So here uh, it was processed in where in player here, yeah, just on player system. So the target player was called. And yeah, and here I also I think I will have to have one work. Okay, I think I'm close to the working game button. There we go. Okay. So exit works just nice. And now if I press new game, what will happen? What will actually happen? So oh, how am I doing this? Right. So I want a new system. So yeah, I'm calling new game. So let's see if the function works. It does not work. Uh, nil is not a type number. Joe sprite system. I mean like what? Um New well new is not number. That's hard to argue. So we'll bind an X. No screen coordinate and hmm. How was it? That's weird. That's just weird. So I think I will put something to lock when after this um, new game is started. So yeah, right there. So right after this more public stuff, um, new game started. And I will just investigate a lock. So, yeah, maybe I should also restart my list just in case. Um, So, I'm going to again, and then this shit happens. So, if I open my lock, and I will lock. So, let's see on the lock here. Alright, loading sprite has been common already registered. Why it is always. Okay, no problem. No problem, no problem anymore. Starting in the loop. Okay, starting a new game, and new game is indeed started. So what the heck then? Um, 
Okay, maybe I will just, just in case, put some of those into the lock because it probably shouldn't take that little of time to create all those entities, probably. Just stop. Um, <coughs> created there. I mean, uh, I couldn't have broken some of the loading mechanisms. I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, sure, it's empty. Um, hmm. Moving object specs. was that oh yeah for some reason um, yeah I think that's the bug of slimy okay so mini game what happened here um, I beg my pardon um, where's the objects line here okay probably I should restart the whole thing There's definitely something weird going on. So yeah, it's reloading the sprites. And yeah, here we go. So from blah blah blah, combat already registered. How it is already registered? Well, anyway. Um, so I'm pressing new game. And yeah. So again, objects. So here we go. Here are the objects: camera, player, mob, etc. So we create in a camera. We create in a player. Uh, we create in a mob. I want to create in mob prefab. So what the heck? It looks. Uh, it looks okay to me. And then back trace. I uh, here we go. Mark. Slash new six the system draw of right system. Okay, mm, let's see what happens in that right system. So in system draw <sighs> sprites and um, batches X. So what about bio X? So the report. Okay. Wait a second. Um, no, 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 that couldn't be. So uh, it tries to divide nil by six. Where am I dividing something by six? Probably here. Error position. Explain where names. So if that um, entity is nil is nil and nil is six, that's fun. 
um, system drawer entity. Yeah, so here the entity is number eight. Mm. Probably what I want here is even more extensive logging. I uh, I think I even want to print the um, the entity number of of the created object. And then just see at what it actually is. Then to restart the whole thing. Okay, I will just in case. So entity number eight is player. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is player. Right. So uh, I'm trying to rewrite. Oops. What? Um, in sprite system, I'm trying to divide nil by six. So six is obviously the count of players on that um, character. Is it though? Uh, Let's just quickly see. Uh, so here it should be heroin, and on her we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, exactly six um, layers. So position layer layer names is obviously nil. So position layer in layer names. I reckon I had some sort of uh, initialization bug in the sprite system. Maybe it's that again. So layer in layer names. What is layer? Um, layer. Let's see. Where's, uh, where's uh, how uh, okay what is the Layer variable there. Um, oh yeah, that's the loop for layer being the hash key in hash value of layers double. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, I will just add a debug print here. Right. Um, um, layer is that and position is that <coughs> so where and then this position with which obviously is nil somewhere in. okay let's try that again Look at the output player boot. What's new? Oh, I believe I know what the problem is. So it should not be the quote because yeah, I I have I definitely have some extra quoting here. Yeah, I I do. So I have one quote here, and I don't need it here. I also don't need it here. Um, yeah, do I have any quotes here? Right, so I think I'm going to fall to that. Yeah, here we go. So now that should work. Where's my slimy um, yeah. Okay, um, so I compiled that. Let's see.
So, new game. Yay! It works. Wow, nice. Just nice. So I. <laughs> cool. Just nice. So the only thing left is to remove the main menu when uh, something is pressed. Yay me! Uh, nice. So, uh, okay. That means that in menu system I will have to... Um, so I'm having this on. Um, yeah, and I already have press sound. So, this uh, on toggle. So, when do I have this? To, yeah, here. So I will just set that to nil uh, here in the beginning. Um, and in exit, just well, um, for the sake of. Um, Like to be on the same everywhere. Um, okay, and in credits, yeah, I will also have to work on credits and think something about that. Um, all right, so I don't need this bunch of debug uh, output um, here. Um, yeah, here. So I don't need this, so I can do that. And also this. Yeah, I'm going to it. I also don't think that. Okay, start in the game, then create all the objects, and then start the game. Alright. Hey man, yeah, that's. Well, you, you can also check out the sources if you're interested in. Uh, I think you can see it in the uh, description uh, on which... I mean, I've open sourced all of the stuff under the GPL. So, yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, I did the... Um, game um, right uh, and I also need to remove all of the existing objects oh yeah I should check it out if the uh, main menu disappears when I click the game um, okay I think I will restart everything again and yeah in sprite system I still have some debug output yeah. There it goes. Uh, yeah. So I think first of all I would check the exit button and then Okay, it works nicely, and then the new game button. Here we go, nice, just nice. Um, oh, the camera is not moving. Yeah, I see, that's because I think that's because I don't set the camera target to the player I was doing it before, but now it is... Yeah, for some reason it's not... Oh yeah, I want to do that after the creation of both camera and player. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, I think I will just set that I will just move that to the point where 
the player is created but it is created after the camera so yeah uh, the point where the player is created so here I'm gonna make component yeah here we go with slots and blah 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 with uh, so here's the box cursor um, so yeah entity I already have the entity here um, so yeah so I can target to player entity but without parentheses so something along these lines and also there is the bug with the item which is left on the ground but yeah I will deal with that later so let's see um, if that fixes the bug with the camera <coughs> oh yeah I think I also should um, compile that I take this of ocean. Yeah, it kind of sticks to my character. That's weird. That's very weird. Hypnotizing, even. Um, yeah, okay. So, also, I think I should. Um, open this menu when uh, the escape button is pressed. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm thinking that there's in fact different menus, at least in Diablo, for the game start when the game is just started and for the in-game main menu uh, when you click uh, or press escape so probably i can unify those so the new game i uh, would pull it to, um, to the new character screen which i don't have uh, by now <coughs> Yeah, uh, let's just quickly code that. So in uh, menu system, um, I reckon I even have some file with the snippets I call crap.l uh, with, with this handler. Yeah. So, one cape. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I will put it here, but modify. So, uh, not the character, but uh, menu, menu system, and then filter key down, and when escape. So, yeah, when escape is pressed, <coughs> I want to like toggle that toggle. <laughs> well, I don't know how to put that. Um, so, I will set up that to its negative. Yeah, maybe I should use with slots. Slots um, system. Do I have? Yeah, I reckon I have system in this dev handler macro. So with slots system, uh, I should set up um, on. Oh, with slots on uh, system. Am I using that correctly? System slots, slots, instance. Yeah, right. So that on, uh, just as uh, it is not just a program, but craft one <laughs> action. Should detect those are but each. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm setting this toggle to not on. 
Also, I think I will have to. Yeah, nice. So I can just press that. Okay, well, let me just kill this thing. And I think when I will press, when I will press the new game here, there will be a problem. That would be. I'm even afraid what could happen because when I will press new game here. Uh, it will create all of those objects that already exist but it will recreate them including camera and player I mean uh, I will bet uh, it, it will just crash with some condition ok let's see wow <laughs> that's just fun so I have some extra player and a new mob here I'm surprised it haven't crashed but yeah, that's definitely fun. So what if I press a new game again? So I have three players now. <laughs> that's just fun. Um, and just uh, another one. <laughs> uh, and what if I will press go here and then create a new game? Oh, it stops. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so now there's like five player characters. And by the way, I can't even go through them because, well, for obvious reasons. Because they are solid uh, persona, personas. Um, oh yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah okay so uh, I'll definitely need to remove all of the existing objects mm, okay let's quickly try and do that I don't need that um, so here new game um, how do I actually remove all of my Objects. So, do I have any methods for mass destruction? For instance, delete component. So I have delete component, by it, but would be plain for. Okay, and I reckon I have delete entity. Yeah, I do have delete entity. Oh, it goes through all of those. Components. And what does do with component do? Um, the component set up the expressions. What are the expressions? Um, I mean, come on. Um, there. So I think it just set F's. Well, I was writing this macro like several months ago. So I think it just set up all of the um, fields of components to new, probably, ARF. yeah, it does exactly that, it set up all of those to nil. Yeah, so what I need here is some sort of uh, mass destruction. Uh, method was this method, and yeah, it uh, again reminds me that, that I definitely need to refactor the my ECS system, the entity component system. So yeah, so I think I would be stopping streaming right now because uh, well, I kind of achieved what I wanted to do today. 
So yeah, thanks for watching and if you want to uh, see more of that, return uh, next Saturday at the same time. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, again, take care and goodbye.